Hi, this is Deb from Business Building Shortcuts, and in this video I'm going to show you how to send up friend lists for your Facebook friends. And you might ask yourself, why would I care about setting up friend lists? If you do any kind of events on Facebook that you send out information about, it is going to save you so much time and effort if you create friend lists. Facebook allows you to have 5,000 friends and it also allows you to have 100 friend lists. So you could have friend lists of up to 100 people in each of your friend lists. And the cool thing about that is, and we'll show you how to do this in another video, you can event, uh, invite people to events by friend list instead of one at a time. And you can only invite 100 people at a time to an event, and so you would want to have your groupings of your friends in your friend list of a hundred friends or fewer. Now this will let you set that up. It will also allow you to set up friend lists um, by interest because one of the things we need to be very careful about with Facebook is that we don't spam people, we don't annoy them, we don't invite them to things that we don't think they would be interested in. So I'm going to go down to my friends in Facebook and show you what I mean. When you click on your friends, Facebook will take you and it will have on the left side here friend lists. And the way you would create a new friend list is to click on make a new list. You can also do this from within a friend, but um, this is an easy way to do it. So I'm going to set up a test Facebook account list. So just put in a title and you can see I've listed here um, a number of my groups are listed by the group that another that those friends and myself are both in. So I have friends from the Secret Internet Marketing Strategies group, the Newbies group, Warrior Forum, all those things. And so I kind of know the general interests of those people based on the groups that they're in. So here's my test Facebook group and you just click enter and it shows up right in your group right in your list of uh, friend lists. So it's really, really easy to create a new friend list. So now what I want to do is go out, join a new group, and invite a friend and place them into one of those friend lists. Let's go back to home and I'm going to go into groups and let's see, it's Facebook is suggesting some groups I might want to consider looking at um, joining MLM Superstar, Authors, Mayfair. Let's go back and just join that Site Source 101 group. It's Internet Technology, so that sounds good. It's about all the kinds of things I'm interested in. So I want to join that group. Now I've joined it and what I want to do is go down and click on Displaying All the Members. When you click on See All Facebook is going to bring up the members one by one and it's going to indicate whether or not you can add a friend request here. So because people are in lots of different groups, you may already be friends with many of these people if you're joining Facebook groups based on your interest because you're probably joining more than one Facebook group in that interest area as are all the rest of these people. So I'm going to click next until I move through this list of members and find one that's no, not yet um, a friend of mine. Okay, here's somebody where I see the add as friend list link. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to bring up the friend request panel. And as you know on Facebook people have to agree to be your friend. So I'm going to add a personal message. I would say, um, hi Julia, I'm a member of Site Source 101. Let be friends. You can say whatever you want to say. Uh, and then Deb. And then you might also invite them to be on your, um, to, to follow you on Twitter, which I like to do. So I'm going to add my um, Twitter URL with an invitation to follow me on Twitter. So that's all there is to it. Now here's how you add that person to a friend list. You would click on add to a friend list and you have two options. You can either look here within your friend list that you've already created if you're back in one of the groups that um, that you have already invited friends from or you can create a new friend list from right here. And because 
the Site Source 101 is a new group for me. I'm going to create a new friend list and I'm going to call it Site Source 101 so I remember what that is. I'm going to create that group and when I click Create, it's going to put Julia automatically in that group because I created it from within her friend request. So I would add her as a friend and it says I've sent a message and now I can add Michael as a friend too and I'm in that same group so I'm going to click on that and say um, well, for him I'm not going to do uh, a personal message but I'm going to go down and add him to SS 101 and you could uh, go ahead and then put in your personal message I always recommend that be careful not to put in the very same message for everyone Facebook doesn't like that and they'll give you a warning that you're abusing Facebook if you do that or if you invite too many friends in a row so 15 to 20 friend requests like this um, in a in a session is okay right now on Facebook um, but be very careful and if you get a warning do respect it because Facebook can ban you and disable your account uh, with almost no warning so you don't want to abuse uh, the Facebook in terms of agreement so um, because I do like to put in a personal message and I'm just hurrying I'm going to cancel this right now but I would come back and add more friends just like that and put them in friendship groups in my friend lists now the next thing I want to show you is how to move people from one friend list to another one because you will probably invite more than a hundred people and put them in each in a group when you invite them but because not everybody that you invite is going to accept your friendship uh, request you might end up with some groups that have more than a hundred in and some with fewer than a hundred but um, or let's say you happen to have a couple thousand friends or a couple hundred friends already but you didn't set up friend lists and you want to now what you would do is go to each friend um, I'll let, let me see I'm gonna go in and move I'm gonna move somebody from Internet General this list has 84 friends and I did notice that um, Marie Smith is in my internet friends group here she is she's really an internet guru and I probably don't want to have her on a list that I'm going to be sending out invitations for my events too so um, but I do value her friendship and I want to make sure that I respect it so what I'm going to do is change her from internet marketing general into my internet gurus list and I click here on the toggle and then when you see this you can look at Marie you can look at the list she's already in it's this little drop down box that you click and it's going to take you to add her to a list so I want to add her to my gurus list so there she is in gurus but she's also still in internet marketing general so I just need to click this little delete button and now she disappears from this group because I'm in the internet marketing general group but if I click on my little gurus list there she is so that it's just that easy to put people into a list or to move them from one list to another so that you would be able to keep all of your lists to about a hundred people or fewer so for example I have people that I invited a um, lot of people from the joint venture group here was my first list I made invitations and then when I got it was actually more than a hundred people replied so I moved some of them into the next group I created which is joint venture 2 the same Facebook group but I want to keep my lists to a hundred or fewer so I went ahead and created um, a second group and invited a lot of friends to that I went back into that particular group of which I'm a member invited more friends to be my friend and then um, went back and check every so often to see how many agreed and then I had more than a hundred there so I moved some of those into uh, the third group I created for this particular Facebook group the JV3 so as you can see this is really convenient it's a nice way to segment your friends by um, how you knew them what your interests are whether or not you want to have them on lists that you will invite to events uh, so I would segment my friends lists in that way in meaningful groups that are going to make sense for you both in terms of um, how you manage your Facebook friends but also in terms of being very respectful about how you invite people to events 
So I'll be doing another video showing you how to use your Facebook friend lists and invite people to your events. Now if you enjoyed this video, I invite you to come over to businessbuildingshortcuts.com where we have more how-to videos like this that will help you get your business up and running fast so you can hit the ground running. Talk to you soon.